Alright, the stream ought to be live. Oops, I backed out of loading the Musa mode. Let's go back down. And let's continue the Wu Musa mode. This world is in chaos. Our land of Zhangnan is no exception. Hmm. And our most serious threat will come from the north, my young lord. The great conqueror of the north, Cao Cao. Does he intend to attack Wu as well? The best course of action is to invite Liu Bei into an alliance. And together we can face Cao Cao as a united front. It's a gamble. Is Liu Bei really that powerful? Yes. But I will gladly take that risk. If Zhou Yu believes, it is best. Excuse me. Judging by that cutscene, I'm wondering if they uh, initially planned for Sun Quan to like, be in charge by this point. Because it's weird, he talks like he is, but it's still like Sun Beyond is the leader for like the entire story mode. Muso mode. Anyways, this battle is how we unlock Gan Ning, and if I do it incorrectly, we could uh, actually miss him. Hold on, I have more outfits. I forgot to do this when I was playing Wave. Ah, uh, that looks significantly worse. His, uh, his back tassel is a bit longer, and it has like a tiger motif. But the helmet looks way worse. So I'm going to stick with his default appearance. I already have the luck item. What else should I give him? Uh, I guess the peacock earn. Higher life is good. Let's see, let's have them use the bow because I looked up the uh the bodyguard stats, and apparently the bow just gets like the best all-around stats. I guess because it's like the worst weapon. Oh yeah, I kind of wish I did the non-mon battle before I did this one. Uh, because if you do that, then uh, Ling Tong will show up with like elephant reinforcements. But oh well. I already started this one. Now, God Ning is pretty buff in this stage. He's kind of hard to beat outright. In fact, you're not supposed to. We will attack Guangzhou and take the land of Zhengsha. The enemy generals Gan Ning and Huangzhu do not get along. We could use this to create a rift within the enemy forces. I don't think the enemy had any sub officers, did they? No. So we we'll just fight the peons just for the sake of it. They will just rush towards the enemy. Is that a dim sum? Nope. Just a meat bun. Actually, you save Ling Kao if you're fast enough. Oh, 
So you have to basically rush him. Enemy officer defeated. Let's not fall behind here, guys. Enemy officer defeated. But yeah, otherwise Ling Cao will just completely break rank and rush past all the enemies to try to reach Fong Tzu. There's actually not many enemies here, so it might can save them, but I kind of don't want to. You want a piece of gun, Ning? Come and get it! And I forgot he challenges you to a duel. I guess I'll at least accept it. This will be interesting. I accept. I think if I beat him here, then I actually won't recruit him. So I'm gonna try to avoid doing that. Yeah, he's he's so buffed up, I can't actually make him flinch. So there's no way I'm gonna win this duel. Yeah, there's no way. He's too buffed up. But at least dueling him kept morale from lower. Oh, never mind. I guess that only happens in XL. We will continue on to the enemy's main camp. Now at that point, the enemy commander has just outright left the battlefield. So we can't defeat him and win right now. We have to wait for him to reappear towards the bottom. The only thing I can really do is defeat Su Fei over here. Uh, hello, Coulter. I'm doing fine. Yeah, I think Dice Warriors 4 does a good job of uh, introducing a lot of the enemy characters. They make them really strong, so it makes them seem like really cool and what you want to recruit them. The enemy is strong. Taishi Z wasn't as buffed up as Gan Ning is, but uh, he was still pretty hard. Now I may as well just fight enemies because fighting God Ning is not the ideal. I can't even lower Huang Zhu's morale because he's off the map right now. This battle, if you want to do the uh, recruiting Gan Ning strategy, you really have to just waste a lot of time fighting peons. Because you can't even begin your counter strategy until Huang Tzu has reappeared. And even a small group of Ghanin's troops are deadly just because they're mad for all. You still got it, old man.
What did I leave right there? There he is. Good. We shall crush Sun Jian. The enemy is strong. Exercise caution. Those frigates are carrying gunpowder. If we could set fire to them, it would give us the advantage. Now I need to run over here and ignite the ships. I think I need Gagnin to be on it as well. Let's see if I can get his attention. Yep. Nope, come over here. I'm pretty sure he Please needs to be on the ship. My father. He may not need to be on the ship, he may just disappear. We'll find out. Bodyguards might be in the way. Let's have them wait over here. It's been a while since I've done this. It already ignited the ship, so that should be all I need to do. If I can keep Gandhi's attention. Nope. The AI really does whatever he wants. There we go. Now it's hard to move. Maybe my bodyguards didn't need to be on the ship. What you want is for Gan Ning to be on the ship. So he'll get taken off the map. And then Huang Zhu will blame him for uh, the ship ramming him from behind. Man, they're good. It's really easy to just go and defeat Huang Zhu and win the stage. So it's actually pretty easy to just miss God Main here. Enemy officer defeated! Let us go as well! Now it's just Fongzu over there.
Yunning's Fist really takes a sweet time. to a duel twice. This will be interesting. I accept. But after the ambush, his stats are a lot weaker, so I should be able to beat him. As opposed to being virtually invincible like he was the first time. I think that's all you need to do to recruit them. Although there wasn't any extra dialogue for it. I guess I didn't recruit him, huh. Maybe I wasn't supposed to beat him in the duel. Maybe Gan Ning needed to, like, complain about, uh, Long Tzu first. Oh well, I guess I'll have to unlock him la later. I may get Gan Ning just by uh, playing enough stages. Some characters will mock like that. I'll have to look up exactly how to unlock him again because it's apparently really finicky. These non mon savages have to be taught a lesson. These elephants really suck. It's really hard to hit officers off of them. Was I not supposed to have killed Su Fei? Was he also supposed to have been alive? Because that's really annoying. There's really no indication on what you're supposed to do there exactly. And Ning didn't even say anything for the whole damn battle. I 
All right, yo, you said to uh to grab an elephant. And of course, the ones I knocked off at despawn. There we go. Quite comfortable, actually. We could destroy any gate or tower if we use elephants. Good. This is basically like a uh, a light version of the later non mon stage that everyone hates. We're only playing with like a fraction of the map here. has a bit of an easier time on the, uh, the later non-mon stage just because playing this stage first means your troops already uh, encounter elephants so they don't suffer a morale loss in the later stage. I actually don't like riding elephants mostly because it's just so damn slow. But you kind of need them in this stage to break down certain gates and whatnot. Oh, I forgot to change characters. I was supposed to play the Soon Change Tank for this battle. I was so distracted complaining about not recruiting Gan Ning. Enemy officer defeated! Jurong is pretty strong. Max morale. Damn. Oh yeah, someone was asking about morale. Morale is pretty easy to understand, really. The higher morale someone has, the better they perform in battle. And the lower morale, the worse they perform. Basically, if someone has max morale, then not only the officer, but the troops themselves will demolish all other enemies in the battlefield. Assuming the enemies don't also have max morale, but it's rare for both sides to have max morale. Enemy officer defeated! It's sort of different in each game, but uh, in this one in particular, you can increase your allies' morale by uh, just getting a bunch of KOs. It will increase the overall morale of all your allies. Or you can uh, lower enemy morale by defeating troops underneath that officer. It's really good to lower the morale with, like, the, uh, the commander, if you are able to encounter any troops of theirs. Because the commander's troops are generally all over the place. Like every gate chasm on the map, for example, is uh, part of the commander's troop.
pretty good. I'll take this loss. Just Ming Huo and his posse over there. I didn't really need to come all the way over to this side just to break those barricades, but I figured I may as well. Just in case there was extra dialogue, I didn't think it was, though. Damn it. It can be so hard to hit these guys. I might should have equipped the wing boots just so I could have jumped higher and actually hit these guys. Oh my god. You did not hit me when I'm trying to aim at these idiots. There we go, finally. Alright, well thanks for knocking me out of the way. Just wasting half of that moose on Yeah, there is actually a use for the jump stat in this particular extreme situation. Did you think you could break through our forces? Ah. I forgot how fucking annoying this is. I actually need to go and get health because I just keep getting hit by the damn uh, elephant. Finally. Most characters I play as have enough reach where they can jump and just knock them off their basic square attack. Now. But Soon Yun apparently doesn't have that. Enemy officer defeated. I bow to your skill. Damn it, I don't want to aim with the archer, so I'm gonna hit Ming Huo. Yeah. 
And now I aggroed him. Okay, if I jump at just the right angle, it's gonna be on can actually hit him. Oh, apparently one of the arrows actually did knock me all off. Great. really wanting to tear out my bodyguards. I meant to play a soon chain chang for that battle, but I forgot to switch to her. So I guess we're playing as her, TB. Even though it would have been way more fitting to be soon gone. of enemies here. Now, highest priority is going to be triggering the, uh, the fire attack here. The fate of Wu depends on this one battle. Do not falter. Show them our might! Yu Bei Liang will call for the wind. We must endure until then. The wind will blow. Please protect the altar until the wind blows. to work then probably go ahead and go help Tang Tong so I'll ignore Sauron for now I don't think Sauron actually causes much damage on his own and he may have sub officers I want to kill yeah Juling 
Come back for him later. If you ignore Peng Tong after he has that line, I believe he just gets defeated and doesn't succeed. If this plan is going to work, we'll have to deal with Shu Ju. All you need to do for Fang Kong is to do you. you. And I think Fang Kong will just take it from there. Yeah, he's ignoring enemies and already moving. So I don't have to fight all these guys. So now I'll go and help Juga Leong because he can go down pretty quick. This is good. The ships will be stable now. Yeah, there's a lot of ESP you can get in this stage to defeat all the sub officers and stuff. Uh, my favorite Dynasty Warriors would be this one. Mostly for nostalgia, this is the first one I played. I think Dice Warriors 5 is a better put together game, but just for how I personally enjoy it, I like Dice Warriors 4 the most. Samurai Warriors 2 I actually like more than Dice Warriors 5. Samurai Warriors 2 is a really damn good game. If you don't defeat Sao Ren right here, then when uh, one guy goes to trigger the ambush, Sao Ren will actually move to stand in front of him and block him. Well, I like Samurai Warriors 2 more, uh, I still really enjoy Samurai Warriors 1. Like, 1 and 2 are just really damn good for me. And then all the others kind of go down the from there. At least for me.
Samurai Warriors 1 was definitely trying to capture like the same feel it only used to have, which makes it really unique and enjoyable. Yeah, it tried to be dark and gritty, which is pretty fun, honestly. That's probably where Nobunaga felt the most like actually a bad guy is Samurai Warriors 1. And everything after that, he's more uh, relatable, I guess. Get on the horse, please. Son of a bitch. Your manners, you beast. Her rank is just Southie's wife. Fine, don't think you'll win. I hate when your charge attack is so slow the enemy can just block it mid combo. Did she just full heal herself? Alright, dick. Man, I wish I could do that just by charging Muso. I don't even know why I'm still fighting at this point. Trailers for Samurai Warriors 5. I think I've seen like the first one and that's it. So I don't really have much to go on. And this one guy is like right next to Soon Gian. That was Juju, is just barreling through everything. Well, let's go put a stop to that. Chong is over here helping him as well. There is no magic here. I know the southeast wind will blow on this day. These games really uh play with the fact that Jugo Liang is actually using magic or not. Some games he does, and some games he says no. It's just he knows. He was smart enough to read the weather. Enemy officer defeated. Enemy officer defeated. Let's play a 
again sometime. Let us go as well. And by the time they finally trigger the fire attack, I basically already killed most of South Tau's army. One guy stuck on like one peon or something. One guy's AI just loves to spam his bombs. You are a hero without equal. I believe in this game they can actually hurt you too. I don't think they can kill you, but they can deal a real number on you. One guy, how is your morale dropping? Chuck your firebombs at the enemy. There's no enemies around you. What is taking you so long? are feeding the flames. Huh, Sai Mao uh, is a purple generic. That actually makes sense because he was uh, in the battle against Huang Zhu. And Huang Zhu's forces are purple. She was actually killed in blue there, despite being uh, a Dom Duo generic originally. So sometimes they change it, sometimes I guess they just forget.
do like the range on Sing Chain Chain Charge 4. The flying chalk rounds hits out so off screen do not. Oh, I forgot to defeat Cao Hong. Whoops. Oh well. Honestly, I completely forgot he was over there. I get plenty of EXP anyways. Oh cool, I unlocked Gan Ning anyways. So I didn't have to do the, uh, the Huang Zhu stuff. Yes, he is a very dangerous. Oh, man. I set the wrong cutscene for this. The course of history. Yeah, they're saying the South Cell cutscene. However, Cow Cow can Even though we're supposed to be chaos. fighting Shu, huh. he will fall when our kingdom of Wu restores the peace. Okay, I think I can fix this without having to stop the stream or the game. Let's see. Should be this cutscene. Give me one second here. Okay. There we go. Finally, I will meet Liu Bei in battle. He has good eyes, that one. Like a dragon rising to the heavens. So, has the tiger of Zhang Dong finally met his match? <laughs> I don't think so. Let's go! For the glory of the Soon family! Yeah, there's like... no nothing between Chang Chang and the Ube in this. Yeah, it's pretty easy to fix the cutscenes in this game. It's literally just renaming a file. Uh, I'll play Shang Cheng here just because I want to play as Soon Jian for the uh, for the non mon battle. Although, I will take a look at her other outfit. Because I unlocked these two. Which is the same as her regular outfit, just wearing short shorts. And I think her hair is a little bit different. Yeah, her hair is a little bit longer. 
Uh, may as well. Yeah, this is an awkward battle where we're actually fighting alongside Shu, and we're racing to defeat Wei to capture their territories. Which is a bit awkward if you, uh, didn't succeed in the fire attack and you fight Wei first, because then they still show up as enemies here for this day, even though Wei should be annihilated by now. I believe all I need to do is defeat uh, Sao Ren, Jahadun, and Zhang Liao. Which, considering Zhang Liao is right next to Zhang Fei, that's probably not going to happen. Yeah, I think I just need to get most of them, or maybe just defeat one of them. Shang Chang talking like she's the commander. We will defeat Kalren and take this. Okay, I was actually checking if she was the commander. I mean, it's interesting she has a line like that. Like she has the authority to say, "Go you, you have command now." These are the orders from Zhuge Liang. We must strike way before Wu does. And claim this territory. Now, if Zhou Yu can reach this castle, the cutscene will trigger. So I actually don't want to defeat Sour in too quickly. Oh, here it goes. My lord, are you hurt? Do not worry. This has given me a plan. Yeah, he sounds totally calm. That arrow didn't hurt him at all. I will withdraw for now. He just doesn't even care. And Zhang Liao and Zhao Dun's morale drops fast. It appears that Zhou Yu has fallen. All forces advance. This is the final act. Kind of be careful there because it's like a few peon gets the last hit in Chaho Doom and they take time. over the area. If Zhang Liao stays alive, I may be able to go and steal the kill from Zhang Fei over here. How am I playing this game? I'm playing the PC version. And I'm playing a normal.
good. Jing Province is ours. All right, and Sauron should be the easy one to beat. <laughs> Stronger than I thought. Yeah, Sauron just left the castle outright. Huh. Longer putting up the most fight in the state. He's not even in hyper mode. There we go. What magnificent strength! Defeat the last enemy and uh, the stage doesn't end just yet. There we go. I will not let everything go your way, Juge Leon. Now, I believe taking over all of the non territory will cause uh, Guan Yu to show up at Yi Ling. Just being pissed off that we won the battle so well. Really got any XP from that stage. Now here we have everyone's most hated stage. Oh wow, interesting. Uh, if I play as Soon Chang Chang, she will actually be the commander here. Huh. They really like to give priority to the Soon family in this game. Where Soon Chang Chang can apparently just be the commander in like any stage potentially. But I'm gonna play Soon Gian here.
You have so few allies for this massive map. And Ming Kuo's sub officers are all over the place. Luckily, since I'm playing as a commander, it doesn't really matter how poorly this battle goes, as long as I don't die, I don't lose. Lushan, I will trust everything to you. Make it so that they will surrender from their hearts. How do I get out of here? They just spawned me in front of a massive fence. Now, you may only be able to do this on Chu, but I think if you defeat just the sub-officers here, Yong Kai will actually defect to you. I'm not positive, though. It's been a while since I've played this. And since Yong Kai is right next to them all, it's kind of hard to not kill them. I guess not. Oh well. You're never going to beat that Lu Ah, it's this guy that defects. Yeah, it's better just to surrender now. Yeah, you can get both of them to defend if you defeat both the sub officers and Yonkai. Okay, that's what happens. Now you notice Ming Huo is like right in front of us. It's because we have to defeat him seven times in this stage. I'm actually gonna try to deal a number on his troops before taking him out. While Ming Huo is on the field, you really want to attack his troops as much as possible just to keep his morale lowered. Because every single time he reappears, his morale is going to increase by one. And you can't lower his morale while he's off the field. Unfortunately, on his first appearance, he doesn't have many of his own troops around him, so you can't really do much. Is that all you got? Enemy officer defeated! And now that I think about it, to unlock the Nodmon, I think I have to play this stage perfectly. Like, I have to defeat Wonko and uh, Yurong in duels. Seven times. Well, not defeat them in duel seven times. Defeat Ming Huo personally seven times. One time in a duel, and Yu Rong also has to be defeated in a duel. And I think that will unlock the non mon campaign. Be 
And on top of Ming Po's morale rising, he also increases morale for everyone. Let us go as well. I bow to your skill. I could reach his sub officers. That would be ideal. I think I'll go ahead and defeat him this time, though. Yeah, it's also kind of hard to lower Ming Po's morale because he doesn't have defeated. many troops here with him. But now Ming Po's morale is so high, even a few of his troops can hold off their allies like indefinitely. <laughs> Like, a single gate captain with six morale, which is what this one had, can completely stall, like, your entire army. Even if the morale is doing alright. I believe Ming Kuo is going to appear down here at the end. Think you can take me? Come and get it! Yeah, here he is. And now he's right next to a sub officer, so this is a good time to beat them and lower his morale by two stars. Enemy officer defeated! Let us go as well. I think a lot of Mingho's troops are over here as well, so now's a good time to just wail on his troops. Fighting a prolonged battle is not giving a sword. Obviously has an effect on soldier morale. Oh yeah, and then there's this bull crap. Just fighting this battle for too long lowers your overall morale, so it's really hard to keep it up. With the excuse being that your troops just aren't used to non-mon climate. They are strong. And that starts to happen is when you really start to uh, lose your allies. And defeating his two sub-officers and attacking his troops for a little bit lowered me close morale down to four stars, which makes him much more manageable by your allies. Alright, you still want to lower it as much as possible, because it's only going to keep going up and keep reappearing. That's why I'm ignoring him for a little while right now, just wailing on his troops. They are strong. This does not bode well. That's about all the troops he has around here. I think three is as low as I'm going to get him for right now. We have to pull back. Enemy officer defeated. 
And how is my allies' morale doing right now? Not too bad. Four stars should be able to handle Monkwo's troops. Now where the hell did I leave red hair? There he is. I suppose I'll go after King Dosi first. Enemy reinforcements have arrived. Alright, those reinforcements you don't actually want to defeat. Uh, Yang Fing, because he's... First of all, he's like... Got a barricade behind him, so your allies can't even reach him anyways. But uh, he'll actually defect to you if you play the stage correctly. I should have equipped the wing boots. Just so I can hit these freaking elephants. Will Tomping work? I will not Oh, excellent. Ta taunting does work. Okay. I forgot to even try that. This doesn't look good. Enemy officer defeated. I think if I aggro Wu Tuku, I can trigger another cutscene event. That armor can't be pierced by arrows? There we go. Nanmon armor is quite resistant to blades and arrows. I have an idea. Please stall their advance for just a short while. Now I just need to wait for a little bit, I believe. Time. I guess I'll go over here and try to fight you raw. This is as far as you go, you runts! Actually, I forgot. Yeah. I figured Ming Kuo would appear over here. There's one time I think he reappears with a sub officer. Oh, there he is. Let us join our allies. Enemy officer defeated. behind. Now Mingo's morale is down to a measly two. Who ambushed us? No officers. Looks like just troops came out. And now he only has one morale. Even better. Now he basically can't do anything. A lot of people's mistake with this stage is that they uh, just defeat Monfo the second he appears, which causes his morale to never decrease. I can't remember if Mungo appears down here. I don't think he does. And that path is blocked off. 
My allies should be able to handle those troops. Assuming they're Mongo troops. Report! Reinforcements have arrived! Oh hey, I forgot we get allies. Who came to help us? Uh Xu Xing showed up to help us. With two sub officers. So far I haven't lost anyone. Huh. We really have no chance of winning here. Hey, another defection. They're pretty good. Okay, so yeah, Young Thing defects once your reinforcements show up. When he just gives up. This doesn't look good. Is she wrong in her mass morale? We cannot hold. Your little rampage ends here. Where are the reinforcements? Men, what are you good for? Do I have to do everything? I figured you were wrong when you challenged me to a duel. There we go. Who's man enough to take on the goddess of fire? This will be interesting. I accept. Man, you really gotta stop doing that. My sword will prevail. Damn it. There we go. I haven't burnt out quite yet. Enemy officer defeated. <laughs> Let us go as well. I'm pretty sure Ming Po will appear down here somewhere. Yeah, finally lost someone. Did he just. Is Ming Po here? No, okay. It looked like he appeared on the map. It's annoying for Lu Xun's strategy, you have to keep Wu Tu alive. If you defeat him, then you won't get the cutscene. Huh. They are strong. And it takes way too long for the cutscene to trigger too. <laughs> They're pretty good. I will not Ah, oh, these elephants are the fucking worst. If we pull back anymore, my wife's gonna kill me! Okay, now Mingo has finally reappeared again. Let us join our allies. Yeah, you know what? Fuck this guy. I'm going after Mingo. I'll come back and deal with I him later. Your skills. Finally, he does the cutscene. Ever. 
And yeah, what it does is auto eliminate Wu Juju. And also raise morale. But like, honestly, you'd have been better off just defeating Wu Juju with how long it took. You wanna fight me? Are you stupid? <laughs> This will be interesting. I accept. Now if I beat Ming Huo in this duel, I think I can unlock Nan Man after this. Really love your parries, don't you? There we go. I haven't been keeping up with how many times I defeated Ming Po. I don't know if he needs to reappear again or not. I guess I'm gonna wander around a bit to see if I can get him to spawn. If you progress too far south and enter like their base, then Ming Po will appear prematurely at the final boss area. It doesn't seem like he's going to appear here. I think he has one more spawn on the left. really are the worst. I forgot how annoying they can be in this game. Are we not too far out? God, just hit him with your fucking sword, please. It's not even an officer riding the elephant, it's just some book.
Did I miss that healing item? There it is. I don't know how I lost track of that. Okay, I think Ming Huo has appeared as many times as he needed to. This is it! This is really, really it! There we go. Shouldn't have any elephants to worry about now. Let's settle this. There we go. Defeated. Whenever you are ready. I'm not stupid, you know. I know when I'm beat, so I give up. Lung Quo's spiked hands just stab the shit out of Lucian. Twenty-three minutes, yeah, it's definitely the longest stage I've done so far. Oh boy, wing boots level nineteen. They're almost perfect. Soon Yan has access to his full move set now. to Shang Tsung for this.
We will use a fire attack to incinerate the Shu forces. Lu Shun will take command. Follow his orders exactly. Until the Shu forces charge out, we'll stay on guard. Stage actually isn't that big for being one of the final battles. Though a lot of enemy officers are just condensed together. Which I guess makes sense, so the fire attack is actually logical. second. Okay. to rush you here. They just started three officers are fighting me all at once. Not very often you actually have to do that. Normally I just ignore the watchtower. I can't recall if you actually have to destroy the watchtowers themselves, or if you uh, just need to defeat the, the peons on top of them. Yu Ying can be really annoying to fight with just, uh, charge on attack. really good at knocking you back and then her AI will decide to heal herself. how much time I have to uh, destroy those watchtowers either. Impudent 
Well, I'll teach you a lesson. Fine. Don't think you'll win. I actually like this appearance in Chang Chang. Mostly I just like her having longer hair. I need no grave. I will become one with the battlefield. Enemy officer defeated. Yeah, I seem to recall all I needed to do was defeat these crossbow guys. Which, damn, easier said than done. And they keep drilling you. Along with the peons. Can you please fuck off? I'm pretty sure defeating just the soldiers is going to be faster anyways. That said, I'm going to run out of arrows. I'm surprised that one even hit. I think the arrows can travel farther in this version of the game. They certainly seem to be. Unfortunately, now I've run out of them. Now, set fire to the shoot camp. All right, I guess I've defeated enough of them. Oh no. The flames are devouring our camp. Wonso should be retreating because he's one guy sub on uh, sub officer, Crush but he just Bay with one blow. cannot figure out how to leave. We cannot destroy that gate from the front. Go around and attack from the back. Crush them with one blow. Enemy officer defeat. Not fall behind. You they both it fast.
I believe there's a character unique cutscene I can get to trigger if I get lost in this maze for long enough. Which may happen accidentally because I don't really remember how to get through it. I do like that red hair can outrun the uh, stone sentinels moving down. So you just sort of run up against them. Really? Was that all it took to clear this? So basically just ran in a straight path. Now I'm just purposely walking around. I'm pretty sure there's a cutscene I can get to trigger. Somehow. remember how long I need to stay in here though. There we go. Hmm. Something's wrong here. And I found the pot with the life up as well. Alright, now I'll actually try to get out of here. I was already at the exit. And then I just decided to wander around until that cutscene triggered. I mean, it wasn't much of a cutscene, but I wanted to see it anyways. There we go. All forces. March around the stone sentinel area. Cross the river and attack the enemy attack. Enemy officer defeated! Yeah, who all appeared? Jiggle Leong with max morale. Frightening. Yan Yan with almost max morale. And they're just straight up charging Sun Yan over here. Sundion's got pretty high morale as well, though, so he should be fine. We must not fall behind. We must all follow your example. Vengeance for the disgrace at the Nan territory. Yep, there's Guan Yu. Who I believe is also at morale. Oh, no, he's not. Okay. So that's not too bad. Now, Liga Bay is a sub-officer. Did I walk past him? Nope, he's right behind him.
Everyone lives in this game up until you get to the final battle. That's the only time anyone actually dies. The final battle with their course, I should say. I figured it did. Yugi really Gong really turns this battle around. How soon Yun's getting getting sandwiched between two forces? I will not lose. Strength is but one aspect of power. Really young is pretty tough here. May not have the stats to beat him in this school. He has blasted it all. Yeah, I just couldn't deal enough damage. Actually, I'm gonna go after Guan Yu first. <laughs> I love that Sun Jian has that line for Shang Shang. I was kind of hoping Guan Yu would challenge me to a duel, but oh well. Alright, just Muso twice in a row, why don't you? You may notice that Guan Yu is the only enemy officer that retreats from this battle. Guan Yu retreats because you can actually have a tail stage after this called the Battle of My Castle. So he can be the sole few survivor. He also just breaks his own damn oath because I'm gonna kill Li Wei after this. Which also means Sim Changing is going to kill her husband, but she has no comment on that whatsoever in this game. We will finish this together, Shang Enemy 
Uh, I don't really remember how you get my castle. I'd have to look it up. A lot of the Tales stages have very specific requirements. Some of the requirements have nothing to do with the stage itself. I don't know why I keep trying to do here for C5, it just does not have enough range. Enemy officer defeated. It appears I have met my destiny. Soon Chang Chang will have a lot of range if you use his attacks that actually throws the chakrams, but if she just uses them in her hand, she has barely any range at all. We must not fall behind. I would love to have the wind scroll with her. It'd be nice to be the enemy and be able to move so whenever you want. We must attack now. Enemy and there we go. go. I shall return to the garden. Uh, you have to clear Wu Musa mode once for my castle. Yeah, a lot of the Tales stages are like that, so it's not even worth it to try to unlock them until you've cleared Musa mode normally the first time. Now Shang Shang has her full move set. We already saw this cutscene, but may as well see it again when we're actually supposed to see it. the Emperor hostage and abuses on authority for personal shame. Yes, he is a very dangerous man, able to change the course of history. <laughs> However, Cow Cow can only thrive in chaos. He will fall when our kingdom of Wu restores the peace. Okay, and these will be all the stages I play the next time I stream. Because we've hit two hours, and that's generally when I like to stop. Hmm, I was hoping I could see if I unlocked Nanmon, but I may have to finish the 
Musou mode first. I may have to play a shoe. Either way, I'll figure that out later. Uh, alright. So, that's it for today's stream. Thanks for watching. See you next time.